I'm just, I, it's so confusing. I'm like aggravated. I can't afford to pay no thousand dollars. You know, my roommate, she's on a limited income because she's, she's disabled. I only work part time. And this is ridiculous. This is, they should have gave notice that they were going to do something like this. And they, text TXU, no, none of the utility companies gave any, saying anything that we were going to be getting new meters or, or anything like that, you know? It's just, it's just irritating that they could just do this without letting anybody know. And then expecting us to just go with the flow. And they just told me to talk to TXU. And TXU says talk to Encore. So all I'm doing is getting the runaround. So I'm getting rid of TXU, I know that for sure. Wish there was another electric company besides Encore out here, we'd go with them too. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's cheaper. Well, I noticed my electric bill was the same as it was in the summer. And in the summer, I'm running a pool filter all day. And I keep my thermos, keep my house cool. I'm very well insulated. So <laughs> and I don't use much of a heater in the winter. So I was a little concerned. But my usage is lower. So it's obviously a pay issue with my provider or a cost issue with my provider since my usage is lower. What I was figuring at home about my usage was correct so that I knew I was using less energy in the winter than I used in the summer, even with the cold snap. So now I need to look at who my energy provider is and shop a little smarter in that area. I've just been concerned that the amount due was the same. And that's kind of crazy since here you run a pool filter 24-7 in the summer. Yeah. So and about two hours in the winter. I'm not using more electricity. I'm very conscientious of not turning my heater on. Yeah. Okay. Unless I have to, so.